Hello everyone and welcome back to Tech Horizon. My name is Dave and today I'm going to show you how to install and set up Plasma Big Screen OS. If you don't already know, Plasma Big Screen is a KDE Neon Linux distribution based operating system for the Raspberry Pi. It's made to look a lot like Android TV and even has the Mycroft AI voice assisted search function which allows you to use your voice to search for content on YouTube skill, SoundCloud music and on a few more. Unfortunately, there isn't an option to directly install Netflix on it. However, there is a little trick on how to install Netflix using Kodi. So if you want to see a future video on how to do that, let me know in the comment section below. But before you get started, if you're not subscribed to my channel yet and enjoy the tech rated content and tutorials that I create, you're welcome to subscribe. And if you found this video helpful, it would definitely make my day if you'd leave a like. And now, let's get started. First of all, you'll have to download the ISO file containing the OS itself by clicking on the first link in the description below, which will redirect you to the official Plasma Big Screen website. Then scroll down to Downloads and click Download. Now click on the highlighted text over here and the download should start right away. While it's downloading, go ahead and install an SD card flasher, in my case the Balena Etcher flasher by clicking on the second link in the description below or by visiting balena.io slash etcher. Once you've downloaded and installed both, you'll have to extract the image. You can either use WinRAR or 7-Zip to do this. Now that you've done that, just open up the flash and select the eye so far as well as the micro SD card that you'll be flashing it onto. Personally, I'm using a 64GB one, and click Flash. As soon as it's done flashing, remove the micro SD card from your PC and plug it into your Pi. Just give it some time to expand and boot. Now that the Pi has booted up, you can definitely see that Plasma Big Screen looks a lot like Android TV. Like I mentioned earlier, this OS has the Mycroft AI voice assisted search function which you can set up by creating an account on their website and logging in on the Pi. There are quite a few apps already installed like YouTube Skill, SoundCloud Music and Firefox. There's also an app called Dolphin, which is the equivalent to the File Manager or Microsoft's File Explorer. You even have the possibility to install further apps using the command line. Sadly, Netflix isn't one of them. So if you want to see a future video on how to install Netflix using Kodi, let me know in the comment section below. But apart from that, that'll be it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I was able to help you out. If you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like. And if you want to see straight to the point tech related videos and tutorials just like this in the future, you're welcome to subscribe. See you in the next one.